cool cats and kittens. Anyway, I'm back, Katie's Craft Corner here. I have a really cool um, technique that I'm gonna teach you today that's a really fun project for kids. It's called Tape Resist, and we are going to be working with masking tape, watercolor, colored pencil, um, on watercolor paper. So there's two different techniques and examples that I'm going to be making during this project. So one is this one, and then we have, sorry, it's upside down, this one. So whichever one you want to do, if you want to mix them together, um, if you want to use totally different color schemes, fine with me. My feelings aren't going to be hurt because I'm not going to see your project probably. Unless you want to post pictures underneath it and be like, hey, I watched your tutorial and I learned how to do this. So keep watching and find out how to make these. The project that we are going to be making today is called Tape Birch Tree Landscape. I know it's a mouthful, but it is a landscape, which means it's got the sky and it's got the land in there, hence why it's called landscape. Now, with a landscape, there's this thing called a horizon line. So if you look off into the distance, you can see where the sky meets the ground and that line right there, it's called the horizon line. And that's gonna be important for part of one of the options later. Well, hey there. So, I've got my materials all laid out and ready to go. I've got my upcycled coffee can water cup that we will be using, paper towel. Um, we've got my watercolor set. If you have one of these, it'll work too. Um, I'm gonna be using this because I like all the colors. But you can, you'll be fine if you just have one of these. I have my 9 by 12 watercolor paper. Yes, it needs to be watercolor paper or something like thick. Um, otherwise, if you use just copy paper, it will roll up. Also, we are going to be using tape to put down trees and you'll have a hard time ripping up the tape. This will all make more sense in a minute. Um, we've got colored pencils. These are the colors that I'm going with, but you can use any of the ones that you want to use out of the 12 set, 48, 36 pack, I don't know, multiply by 12, up to you. Masking tape. I'm using the one inch, and there's a lot that you can do with the one inch size tape, and we're just gonna be using one brush, one size brush for this. So stay tuned. I already said that, but you know, just just keep watching. Okie doke. I have my two different projects that I'm going on here. Um, one is, um, you know, hot dog style. It's long ways. This style is hamburger. It's going up and down. So I'm just gonna choose one of them to do the horizon line that I was telling you about and I'm just gonna take a pencil and lightly draw a line across my page. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, okay? I know you can't see it like that, but there you go. You can see it, it's right there. This one, I'm not gonna draw a horizon line because I don't feel like it. Okay, we are going to start making our birch trees with masking tape. So, I'm just going to rip a piece off and I'm going to lay it right here. It's gonna touch the bottom. And there's my first tree, but I will show you how to add branches later. want it to go all the way to the top, then you can just rip some more tape to cover up that spot to go all the way to the top. There we 
go. And while I'm pushing these down, you really wanna like use your finger and smooth them over because we're gonna be going over this with watercolor. And if you don't press the tape all the way down, a little bit of watercolor is gonna come through and blotch up your birch tree. So you wanna make sure you cover up all of those spots. And I got tape sticking to my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna put a few more. Maybe one more on here. Okay. And trees have branches, right? Yeah, most of them do. I have my piece of tape. And before I put it down, I'm going to rip it. And there's one little branch. And I'm just going to put it over like this and if it overlaps to my tree that's fine gonna take my remaining piece rip it again that's a big branch so i'm gonna rip that in half this is a bigger branch and it's starting to look like trees look at that Mocha snoring in the background. But I'm just making sure I push down that tape and I'm just ripping this tape. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You can put these branches wherever you want. That one's nice and thin. have them like coming off of each other like that. I'm just filling in that space. So there's that one. Okay, if you want to put more trees in there, more branches, totally up to you. Now I'm going to slide this one over. And this one's a little bit more advanced because we have our horizon line. So, I'm going to rip my tape. And I'm going to put this one right here and rip some more and the reason I press lightly was because I can erase it when I come back to it later so this is where it can get a little tricky my horizon line is right here and right where my pencil is this is the land and this is the sky if I put a piece of tape up here above the horizon line that is a floating tree okay it doesn't have a bottom it's just floating around in space for this to be realistically correct if that's even a thing we are going to make sure that our tree is either on the horizon line or below it so I'm gonna put it half seen half on the top half on the bottom that's the tree that I was talking about. Half on the bottom, half on the top. And if you want smaller trees, get some scissors. And I'm going to take my tape. I don't want it to get stuck on me. Branch time. I'm going to rip these little pieces of tape and put them on there. one time. 
taller. If you want the bottom of your trees to be a little bit more uniform, you can just rip up that little corner piece. Okay, so this is my birch tree with the horizon line. This is my birch tree with no horizon line. This next step here is where we are going to be using watercolor. And I'm just gonna quickly go over. Yes, I ooped. I'm ooped. I'm a Midwesterner just make sure that tape is flattened all the way down onto the paper. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one first. Now for this one, I'm picturing a nice green grass area and then I'll do a really cool sunset for the top. If you have one of these, that's totally fine. You can use that. Matter of fact, I think what I'll do is do this one using this paint palette watercolor so you want to make sure you get your brush wet first so I've got my water cup mix it in, in there and I'm gonna start with green and here's my horizon line and I'm just gonna go back and forth and if you go over the masking tape that is fine that's what you need to do I'm gonna stop just below that line. And I think I wanna add a little bit of yellow to this to get some different color green in there. And it's okay that my green is getting into my yellow a little bit. I can just wipe it out later. green part. Now I'm going to do that sunset. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to take a little bit of my paper towel and wipe this yellow out to get rid of the green. Voila! It is no longer contaminated. It's a fun. I'm so glad you can't see my face right now. Okay, so sunset. Sunsetty colors, red, orange, yellow. Got lots of water on my brush. And I'm just making a few streaks in the sky with that red, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go back in with orange. Mix it in with that red and if you want more um, colors in there like the more vibrant colors just add less water if you want the colors to be lighter you can add more water I'm gonna go back in with my yellow and I've got this really cool, streaky sunset going on here. And you could even start with red at the top and then do orange and then do yellow, but I'm kind of more all over the place. And I'm being very careful with this part because this green is still a little wet and if I go use this um, orange or yellow, 
right on this line, they might blend a little bit. And I don't want that. So I'm just working on this other area to give it time to dry. I'm gonna set this aside and let this dry. And I'm going to work on my other landscape. Got a little messy. Okay, for this one, I'm envisioning a lot of blues and greens and purples and there's no ground in this one it's all gonna be um, the sky so it's not exactly a landscape but it has trees and that's on land so you know it's okay I'm gonna use this palette I got this from the Blake store really awesome art supply store if you're wanting something like that. Okay. Oh no, sticking to the table. Alright, I'm gonna go with this dark color here. Darker colors, less water. Lighter colors, more water. Again, perfectly okay to go over the tape. It's what you're supposed to do. Just blending in those areas. No, don't drink that. The cat's drinking out of my water cup. to use purples instead or if you wanted to do sunset on this style you totally could I just wanted to do a blue background Thank you. 
da -da. So I'm going to clean off my brush. And I'm gonna set these aside to dry a little bit and when they're done, I will come back and show you the next step. Hello! We are back. Our watercolor paper is dry, so I can hold it up without water running down. These are our backgrounds. Um, if they have furled or beduckled, I don't know what you want to say, but if they furled up and they're not flat enough for you, um, after you are all done with this, you can just put them underneath a heavy book for a while and it'll straighten it out all nice and flat. So we gonna start making trees now. Okay, so the first step to this is you are going to gently start peeling up the masking tape. If you do it too quickly, it could rip the paper. If some of the paper comes up, that is okay. It'll just give it more of that birch tree look. So, I'm gonna keep ripping it up. My tape is ripped up. I've got my eraser because I'm just going to go erase my horizon line so I don't have ghost trees. And if you don't want to make these birch trees, you want to make them like maple trees, oak trees, whatever, um, you can do that. It's, this is your project. You can make it how you want. Um, so I'm going to start with this one here. And I've got this dark brown pencil and I'm gonna start by making like a little triangle on the side here and I'm gonna go across from it draw another triangle I'm just gonna fill up my tree with little round triangles They can be right across from each other, they can be staggering, whatever. And don't worry about the tops of the trees, that's okay. So I'm just adding these arrows. If you wanted to, you could kind of do a curved line coming out from that peak to kind of give the illusion of a round tree. Or you don't have to put those lines in at all. Or you can put them in every other one. Up to you. So that's the main tree trunk part. Here, you can do the same thing with the branches. And if you wanted to use green or red um, or an orange, that's fine. I'm just sticking with brown. Now, if you want to make these look more um, live lively trees, you can add these little offshoot branches. And if you want to add leaves, actually I'm going to add red leaves. I'm just going to make a little teardrop shape on these branches. Give the illusion that we have some leaves on here. Then 
you can put more leaves, less leaves, whatever. But there is my first tree. I just finished this one turned out pretty cool I'm going to show you a different method on this one I've got my black colored pencil and I'm just gonna make these thick kind of curved lines here to kind of give the illusion it's a round tree. I mean, aren't most trees round? I think. Maybe not a bonsai. They're kind of round and going all over the place. You can just kind of like scatter them throughout. You can put them in the middle or on the sides. And you're gonna do the same thing for the branches. You're just gonna follow the direction of the branch. So if it's off this way, you're gonna make your lines this way. You can put leaves on it or not. I think I'm gonna skip putting leaves on this guy because I think it's snowing. Looks like a snowy background. I finished both of my Tate Birch tree landscapes. This is my wintry one here with one technique of making the birch tree look like a birch tree. This is my other one with the triangle technique and it's got leaves on it. Um, but you can use whatever method you want if you don't want to make birch trees, like you wanna make maple, oak, whatever, you can just color them in all the way. You can add more leaves, more branches, whatever you wanna do. Um, but you know how to apply tape to watercolor paper and go over it with watercolor and then peel it up gently. So you could even like make a cat instead of a tree forest. You could make um, a really cool geometric design. You could do a heart. Um, this technique is pretty versatile. versatile. There we go, but thanks for watching.